What's going on Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. It's Friday December 11th or 12th. Whatever day is Friday. I don't even know. Uh, but this place is just mad packed. Mad packed on the we weekends. And uh, got like a sliver spot to be in. Hopefully no boat hits me. Oh man. It's warm out but it feels colder once you get right up to the ocean so i got my full cold gear on anyways just to be safe and you can't beat that you can get out on a friday even though like the whole parking lot's literally packed unbelievable if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button existing subscribers hit the bell notification get notified as soon as the video is uploaded to people leaving I'm just timed it literally by 10 minutes before it was like this that's like one of those things when you come to this ramp you really have no clue what can happen right. let's party make sure don't be hit me Glad I took this. I took the stand up out yesterday here. There wasn't that many people here. Man, comes a Friday. All it is is fishing, fishing, fishing here. That's this person doing. I want to stay away from over there because if you've seen the videos where it, where it drops, it's like super shallow over there. I'm going to be installing the gauges on here too. I got the boost gauge for that gauge cluster. And I think the gauge I'm going to install is a... depth finder knowing how deep stuff is. Because I think that's like one of the most important things when you're riding this. Is just to know how deep everything is. Just for myself to know. There's maps and stuff, but it's not the same as when you're physically out there. I'd be real curious to see how deep areas are. All right, we got a half a tank of gas. We barely got any light, but we got a huge line of people there, so.
for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. 86 all the hay. I'm working a ball today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the balls and flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it. All record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Yeah, it's super aggravating, but this blow-up valve having issues all the time now. It's like, last time I rode it, came loose. It's still moving, but not full full speed. There's basically going to be like a, this much open like that on the top of the intercooler piping. And the pipe is just too short on both ends, because either you get it perfect down the bottom, and then it won't come off for the bottom. Because if it comes off from the bottom part of the intercooler piping, then there's no power and you're just like busting at 30 miles per hour which really would suck being out here especially when you only got so much light and stuff you can hear the, the things running like kind of rough right now it just like not to knock river racing so i mean i'm going to be calling them and seeing what the, what they'll do about this because you know this is just this is just becoming almost every time riding it that there's just some issue with this and it's now getting made apart over time it's just you know there's something with the 
fight they use over time that it goes bad is just what I'm feeling right now because at first it worked perfectly fine for a year and then after a year's time the thing's just having issues like crazy now and uh, it's just really silly when you have something like that is what your issue is with your ski. I mean literally Yamaha's are bulletproof with just how they run and uh, yeah it's kind of aggravating. I mean, I still went out and had fun, so I mean, I really can't complain with that. It's not like we couldn't get the ride. It just, I couldn't get it while we're getting wet and stuff because I just don't want any water getting into the chance of being around that area going right into the supercharger. It would really suck. It's just gets aggravating. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. The problem is, it's just, you know, may they send me a new one? I mean, I think that's the least they could do. I mean, obviously there's an issue. I mean, I retightened it last time. And I put some, like, serious force into pushing the pipe as far as it could go when tightening it. And it just wouldn't be enough. It's it's this short of being to where there's, like, a little um, tab sticking out where it kind of has the intercooler piping to stop one, not go as far. It's not coming all the way close to that. So um, I got it like that in the bottom. Uh, and it's just, this is just becoming annoying now, to be honest. But it was that fun run. I can't complain getting out to go out and this thing on a Friday. And look at this, the place was like booming crazy. Because everybody was getting out at once. Uh, this place is fun. I wasn't planning to upgrade the intercooler, but maybe that's something I'll do. I don't know. I just... I don't like the thing I have with riding. I like a ski that goes out and does what you want to do and not have to be where it's always worrying about something. Because that just gets to be, takes out the fun of just being like, oh, what's going on with this now? I mean, the SXR 1500 was the same way until I stole the JC Racing sponsors. And now this ski is just a blast. I could, so I don't care what money somebody would offer me. I've turned down like at least seven people offer me uh, cash for the SXR now. And I've turned it down. I like this. I had debris out here today too. I was out of here yesterday and there's no debris. Kind of wild. Like the pool. Man, I tell you, sometimes jet skis are like a piece of piece of cake there. Look at that. Look at that. I had enough fuel. I had half a tank. Good thing these things are pretty good on fuel mileage. A little chilly for that, isn't it? Oh no, perfect. That's yeah, crazy. How this place is like super packed right before I get out and come back and it's like everybody's gone. Hopefully soon I'll get back on the intercoastal. I know a lot of people have been asking for uh, ocean rides and I think I'll switch it up and go back to uh, some intercoastal. I hope it's not flooded. I'll have to check it out over the weekend to see how it's, how it's set up. Hey look, the police are here. Bad boys. What you want, what you want. What you gonna do? When Chef John Brown come for you, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And when you were eight and you had bad traits, you go to school and learn the golden rule. So why are you acting like a bloody fool? If you get hot, then you must get cool. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Interesting fact that some of those uh, Dodge police cars, I've seen ones for sale that have like huge major issues. Like some of them I've seen for sale at auctions that have a the wiring harness goes bad and they can't even uh, get it replaced that's why they take it out of duty it was interesting on my way driving here I saw a state trooper in a crown vic pulling over pulled over somebody which is kind of crazy you know they're still they're still in service I know there was a few articles I think it was Charleston South Carolina how pissed they were that uh, Ford stopped making the Crown Vic and how they didn't like the Taurus uh, police interceptor and just a lot of it they didn't like having the all-wheel drive 
or the like obviously who would want a front wheel drive uh, police car then it's it's all because of a fuel economy that's why they stopped making them and the crazy thing i think he gets like 26 miles a gallon which on the highway which is pretty impressive um for a ford earth and mv8 but because actually the first convict that i got was a um charleston pd vehicle convict police interceptor and i mean they use that thing to over 180,000 miles in service which is pretty wild but you can tell that they did not want to be getting rid of those I mean, he's waiting over there he wants to get a picture or something he's like let's hook it let's hook it let's hook it on my hitch so we can get a photo <laughs> wouldn't that be funny if that's what he wanted to do be like hey can we get a picture together could i get the jet ski trailer on the back of mine I think I'd like, there's something about crown picks now that just they just look they just look so cool i was thinking about painting this one um a different color or two-toning it i was thinking about painting the roof black but then uh one of my favorite colors is uh when they had the hellcats when they were that sublime green and they stopped doing it and i see some places we can get the sublime green paint it's not that crazy expensive and i was thinking about like painting the thing sublime green sublime green i think it would look pretty cool well, that's my i did a decent job i mean i'm telling you it to be perfect i can tell you that as long as it nothing's rusting nothing's leaking i'm perfectly fine follow me on instagram i am underscore baywolf also too check out my amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash i am baywolf we even got the go rhino ram bars on there Man, this thing is, I edited this on. Oh, this thing is so cool. Um, but also, too, check out the I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Peace out, Beowulf. Hey, shit. What are those people doing? They don't even know what they're doing.